What's going on, everybody? Super Saiyan Paul, you're back at it again with another episode of Jack and Daxter HD PS4 Collection. This is actually pretty cool having big headed Jack because when I was a kid, I was like, yo, look at the, his hair. It's like Super Saiyan 33333. But anyway, we're about to do some more side missions. We currently have 118 precursor orbs. The goal right now is 155, if I remember correctly. That was the goal to get unlimited ammo to do a whole bunch of stuff. So. Let's start this mission over here that was closest to the slums. Oh man. This one's a tough one because I think it's right next to the elevator and if you're not fast enough, meaning if I can't get the boost off and then you grab this and then make a turn. It's either straight down here or to my right and I have a feeling I'm gonna end up messing this up. Is it over here? I could have just checked this whole thing. Oh uh, man. Is it over here? Right there. I actually got it. My memory did not serve me well that time. We're evaluating the use of homing beacons and missions. Get all of the beacons as fast as you can. You gotta move quickly on this one. Uh oh. Nothing so far. Yeah, like literally. This one's a little bit. Interesting. I like these type of missions, right? To collect these weird objects. It felt actually felt like mini missions rather than just here's a precursor or we the underground are hiding from you. How about we make you go for it? Like I didn't understand that part. Suspicious activity is this dead. I just ran the guy in front of the thing and like he was like, I don't care. I really don't care. Let me grab this one back here before I forget, and then all of a sudden this turns out to be the last one. I waste way too much time. I should be in a much smaller vehicle for this. I don't know what I'm doing. Out of the way, out of the way. This guy's gonna make me lose the whole thing. Yo, these things are so spread apart. Oh. Ten more. We got ten in a minute. Did I just miss one? Like, literally right there? Oh, god damn. I hope they gave me an excess amount because I feel like I'm about to get shorthanded. There's one, three here. Two. Three. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm seeing some potential difficulties. Oh, we gotta start the mission off. Which such difficult ones to get? There's one in the corner. Okay, 30 seconds to get these last two. Ah. Uh. Such a crack vehicle. I should have been switched vehicles. Please be right in my sight. Please be right in my sight. There it is. Okay. It worked. Somehow. Oh, I love when you tell me sweet things, Torn. Yaw. Hey, hey, I need a small vehicle. Give me a. S I don't want that small vehicle. I don't want to trigger shit. Trigger the guards. Yes. Heart. Park it like this. And then good. I'm gonna take a wild guess to say that's around the corner to my left. Please be around the corner to my left. That's gotta be right by the entrance of the Coliseum, if I remember. Yep. Oh! Since we're over here, wow, we got the collectivist. Let's go do the jet board challenge instead of doing the reverse races and stuff, because I don't know if I have it unlocked. Do I have reverse races unlocked? I don't want to do that for now. I like doing those all at once. Uh, we do have reverse races showing up next, but two missions down. I wanted the jet board challenge, so. Ironically, by doing the jet board challenge, I unlock all the reverse races, but I want to save the races for one particular episode, so this way it's all jumbled together to and not skipped around. Okay, switch that to jet board. Give me my my beauty, Betty. And then we need to go to the right side. And jet board challenge is probably some of the easiest precursor orbs in the game. It's free, it's easy, and there's nothing really you gotta do anything complicated or anything like that. It's like literally the gun courses with the limited ammo. That's how I feel like. All right, so let's get over down there and do this. You could accidentally get this one at the very beginning of the game. Remember, I got like this challenge done within seconds. So let's go around the corner and then grab the robot, right? Yep. Okay, I got the robot to start this off and we jump up and I forgot if these things are points or if these things hurt me. So I'm not gonna even bother. 
3,000, 1, Do I get points for jumping through the fire? I have no idea. Let's go on the rail pipes. I'm supposed to be grinding while doing this. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Point multiplier. Oof. A lot of 3000s. I don't know if I'm gonna make this. This is literally me just doing the same movements I do throughout the city. I'm not even taking advantage of the grind rails and stuff. Oh man. 120,000. Let's see if you can get this. Twelve hundred, three thousand, two hundred. Oi! Two thousand seven hundred. Twelve hundred. And ten seconds. Ten seconds. Give me the easy moves. Yes. We got it. Like I said, easy mission. I don't think I did the best I could have possibly done. I've done way better than that. Those were just moves like literally standing still. But that should have unlocked the reverse races for me. Um, so we're going to save that for probably the next episode. Just a bunch of racing back to back to back. Finishing all the races hopefully in one clean episode. That's the way I'd rather do it. Like have all the races done at once. Beat them all in their scheduled times and we should be good. So right now the goal is still 155. We need 20 more precursor orbs. I just got a super, super easy one. I think we're gonna head out here to more of these kiosks. So let's see. The map should be the first option that pops up. All right, so we're by the Coliseum. There's that one, and we're gonna head to that one on the left side of the map. So let's head to that corner. It's on the top left. Let's see what we can steal here. I don't want to steal any Crimson Guard stuff before they chase me to my death, and then all of a sudden it's pushing me towards reverse races. But I'm not gonna take the sign. I'm gonna go on this. My favorite zoomer with my epic, epic big head. Big head, super, super, super Saiyan 3. I always felt like when you had big head with giant dark jack, that it was like you ascended even further beyond, almost like Super Saiyan 4. I don't know, I was a wonky little kid, okay? Leave me alone. I feel the judgment. Stop it. Okay. We're almost there, thankfully, the light speed travel of this. I don't think a game like this would have ever needed fast travel. Fresh and Clank! And then around here. Surprisingly, I didn't hit a guard. That's a first. Let's talk. A tough one. Beat the clock to here. It's in the grass area? Oh man, that's tough. Proceeding as planned. Oh man, that's tough. I'm guessing this corner? Shit. Yes. Here's a tough one. Hey! 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 hey. Good work, Jack. Jeez, I had to kick my own vehicle from blocking me. That's it? How are these kiosks, man? They sold themselves, practically. Okay, one of the missions over there by the elevator. I'm going back to that one. I'm trying to clean this up sector by sector. Yeah, there's still quite a few here. So let's go back through this waterway and then... Let's see. Wait, let me see if follow the waterway. Uh, okay, straight then right. Sorry guys, I drive like this in real life too. I need, no, I don't crash, but I need to constantly be reminded of directions. Every time I press triangle twice, I'm afraid that it's going to be one of those things. This map is a little weird over here. Look at that. I just flew through the white area. Fuck this up. There we go. <clears throat> Oh shit, the elevator. Wait, where's the elevator from here? Ah, oh, man, I don't even know what corner of the city I'm in. Okay, gotta go straight, then up, then right. Okay. So, so left, and then thing. This one's directly in front of the Baron's Palace. Reach the spot. Yeah, janky boy. 142. Yo, we're just gaining precursor orbs so freaking fast. Alrighty, I think I'm gonna head to that one in that grassy area over there. So let's go straight and around the loop. Do you loop? Let's go all the way to the corner and go to the grassy area. 
I like cleaning this out sector by sector. Um, I left like one or two here or there. This way, it would be a lot easier for me to go back to. Because those missions are like the tougher ones and they send you around the trip. Uh, where the hell am I going, man? I'm sorry. I suck at navigation. Okay, just go straight through here and then... This map is wonky. Like, look at the mini-map. I'm flying through areas I'm not even supposed to be crossing. That's weird. I don't remember that. See which ammo I have. See, this is why I don't want to do the gun courses just yet. Until I get limited ammo, this way I can get them all out in one shot. Because it's such a limited amount. Imagine trying to do the Peacemaker challenge with this crap. I you do not want to do that. That will not be fun. Okay. Get here fast. I don't know which one this is, so I'm gonna assume it's straight into my right. Let's see if memory's serving me well. Or if I'm just a dip. It's right there. Yo, these are all first tries after years. Oh, I got that with one second, I suppose. Yes, watch me. Oh, yes. Where's my goatee? There's a bunch of these blue eco plants, as I would like to call them. Ah. I've detected a dark eco spill. You must remove this hazard quickly before the city is contaminated. Uh oh. Dark eco contamination. What's interesting about this is, like, I think if you already have Dark Jack, like, all over the place. This one was cool, too, because I, I like that they added the voice and it was like a mini story. Like, these weren't the most developed side missions, but these few missions like this, man, I liked them. I really did. And like, hey, there's a dark eco contamination. These people touch this. They are dead and they're glitching out on me. I was about to say, like, what the frick? They have them glitching out on me and it's like, whoa, whoa man, I just started the mission and now you guys decide to do that. Come on. Don't do that to me. You can't be doing that. At least I'm collecting them. Harry Potter. Why? Harry. Need 10 more. We almost got the 155. Okay, three, this was actually an easy mission. What the hell? And done. Yo, imagine she didn't give me my orbs. I was gonna have to run my gun on this machine. Let's see. Where is another mission? Down there. I think I'm gonna get that one. Yeah, that last one down there. Damn, we're getting a ton of precursor orbs. It's like so fast. As a kid, it took me ages, and as an adult, literally, I feel like, I, I want to know how you would be able to gather all of the non-story precursors. How fast can you do them legit, because it's not that bad. Not as bad as I thought. So let's head down here. And once we head down here, there's the final kiosk on this side of the map. If I remember, there's another collect one across the bazaar type thing, so I'm going to grab a small vehicle. Okay, there's no small vehicle, so I'm just going to rush. Something, something delivered to the hideout immediately. I did not really hear much of that, but come on, Tony boy, Tony boy, Tony boy. Like that swoop and swap, right? That's how you you recover from an injured turn. But they put so many crazy guards down here, and they know for a fact that you can't really drive through the top because of the top because you're... oh my god, I'm trying to make a jump. Trying to make the best make jump ever up. and it failed me. We gotta get to the hideout. This is the worst road in the game right here. Look at this. Every time you try to turn, there's always somebody waiting for you. I don't know if I'll make this. I think this might be when my mission fails. 
30 seconds to get to the high dumps. Do you think I will make it? I don't know if I will, but I have to believe in the heart of the cards. The heart of the cards tell me to go and do the way. Is it 18 seconds? Alright, from here to there. Yo, I ran over so many pedestrians without any trouble. There it is! Yo, don't fail me. Don't fail me, Zuber. I'm right there. I'm right there. Yo, they better not have robbed me there. Let's check it out. Let's see if that kiosk is done back there. I think it is. No, there's still one more, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there's like 10 kiosks left in the world. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Smash that like button. Subscribe for more. Next episode, we're probably going to get unlimited ammo, finish that up, and as well as do the races. So I'll be seeing you guys then. Smash the like button, subscribe, turn notifications. We'll see you guys then. Peace.